All right, it's me, Pastor K, and it's another day. I'm on a venture right now. I'm doing 80 days to 50. That's right, 80 days to my 50th birthday. And so one of the things that's been on my list to do, and I avoided it for a long time, um, cause I, I was, I swore I'd never go back on walking on anybody's ice again, but I am about to go ice fishing on the ice again. So guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get this one uh, in for the books cause I might like it and I might spend a couple of more days out here on the ice um, on this journey to 80 days to 50. So we just don't know just yet. I am excited though. Um, and we are out at one of our favorite lakes center in Centerville, Minnesota, uh, Pitler Lake. And um, there's a running dam right now, but there's a bunch of people out there on the on the ice with ice, ice huts, uh, ice fishing. So, um, you know, I got, you know who I got with me. Rich twin ice fishing again. <laughs> so, so without further ado, I'm gonna get some B-roll and show you what it do. All right, well, <laughs> here we go. Rich Twin that got me on the ice as 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 he as he really wanted to get me on the ice. He's been talking about me going ice fishing for, for the last three years. And so guess what we're doing? We're on the ice, we're ice fishing here at Pitler Lake all in way in Centerville. And so, uh, yeah, so then the, the ice fishing holes, we started a hole uh, a little further away and that ice had to be where we dug out was at least eight inches thick so these holes here were kind of already kind of pre-dug and so we're gonna go uh, and fish on these holes but man this is me out here ice fishing i'm gonna get you another b-roll shot because i want you to see what it looks like ice fishing and guess what i'm directly in the sun and the sun is nice and, and keeping the cold risky air off of me. I feel warm. I feel good. I'm at, I, I even bought me a little Eskimo chair. So I'm sitting in a little Eskimo chair while Rich is sitting on a bucket. As you can see. And he's working with one of the other uh, um, uh, fish products that, you know, we, we go out to catch fish with. But anyway, check it out. <laughs> we'll be right back. Fishing hole, Rich Twins is doing it again. I ain't caught nothing. That's my little pop up over there, though. But uh, yeah, that's the little, little fishing hole. <laughs> Okay, that's gonna be about the end of this video. I was on Facebook Live, um, just <laughs> just uh, on there for a while. Um, so 
So if you got my Facebook page, you can check out the, the, the video. But um, I guess what I could take from this experience, this was my first time going ice fishing. Um, I saw the process from beginning to the end uh, where we were actually digging a hole and we only dug about eight inches deep. We should have went, probably would have uh, hit the water with another four inches um because the inch the, the the water was literally where we were at uh about uh, a foot uh there was a foot of ice um that was supporting us while we were uh uh while, while i was out there um it was about 10 feet deep and um getting deeper as it went through this uh this little canal and um it was all right uh i started off pretty warm uh and you know, I was I was I was pretty warm while I was out there. I guess I stopped getting warm when I stopped moving so much. Um, but just the mind psyche of you know you're you're standing on water, uh, the crack, you know, all that kind of stuff hits you. And so um, uh, it was interesting. So uh, day 79 of my 80 days till 50. Um, I, I, I thank God for this opportunity. Uh, I'm looking for, like I said, more uh, uh, life-changing experiences uh, for myself. Um, and uh, I'm just excited. So that is the end of this video. And uh, I hope you guys get a chance to join me. Uh, I'm going to try to do a vlog uh, every day and see how that goes. But definitely excited about my first time getting on the ice. Big question, uh, will I do it again? Yes, I will do it again. But there's some things that I'm gonna do this differently this time. Um, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to I'm going to get a sled, which I think would be helpful. Um, I may end up buying a a two person ice house. Uh, I think that's that'll be helpful um, with the heater. Um, I'm not gonna rush into that though. I'm not gonna rush into that investment, but I am considering doing that um some things that i'll do different um uh man i wish if i could i wish i had some kind of uh snowmobile <laughs> like the one that just passed us uh snowmobile uh to get out here on the ice and and or or a four-wheeler atv get out there you know quickly in quickly out um because when you get to walking out on these lakes it is it is a well, for me, it's a far walk, um, but it's also an interesting walk. So uh, again, I was very blessed to get out here. I'm very blessed to to be able to to come to a uh, to a spot where um, <laughs> uh, it was safe, um, no problems of, of any sort, and I look forward to doing it again. So yes, I will do it again, um, and so uh, I'm excited. This is Minnesota. Uh, this is Minnesota weather. This is the Minnesota winter. And um, this is something to do in Minnesota. You know, this is it, uh, it beats staying at home and and, uh, and, and and just, you know, doing nothing. So uh, I'm enjoying out of the, this is what, I think I've been in Minnesota now almost 20 years. I, I moved to Vegas, but then came back. So, so within the the time frame that I've been in Minnesota, this is the first time that I've really uh, taken the 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 adventurous route of ice fishing or and and, and nature and this that, and the other. So anyway, uh, God bless you guys. Thank you all so much for listening and watching. Uh, I will be back. We'll see what we're gonna do for day uh, seventy eight of eighty uh, to fifty, and so. Uh, God bless. Thank you.